Hello friends, uh, welcome to yet another video about this COVID-19 infection. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, one topic that is not talked about much. That is post COVID complications or something uh, the experts call it long COVID. So what is long COVID or post COVID complications? So we all know that this COVID-19 infection in most of the people, it just acts like a simple viral infection and goes off around in five to seven days, fine. So that is in 80% of the people. In another 20% of the people, it affects the lungs and it can just go on for another one more week. So that is maximum 14 to 15 days from the onset of symptoms. And any sick people with a severe COVID-19 infection can spend even weeks in hospital for recovery of their lungs. So that is entirely different. So what is this post COVID complication? So after one person has recovered from COVID, so what complications or problems he should expect and uh, he should keep a note on. So we will see. So we will divide the things into few categories. What are the milder problems? What are the milder problems? One can have occasionally fever spikes even after getting discharged. People have noted mild fever spikes, low grade fevers, 9900, even up to one month after discharge. And second thing, most of the people complain is that severe tiredness and body pain. So severe tiredness and body pain has been noted to occur for at least two to three months post COVID-19 infection. So that is mostly, it is not a major symptom to be worried about, but it definitely affects the quality of life. There is no simple fix for the same, but usually it will recover completely. No need to worry about it. And the second thing is uh, most people who have developed this loss of taste and loss of smell. So many are worried that the smell hasn't come back the taste sensation hasn't come back. So uh, we have found that this uh, sensation to reappear, it takes at least three to four weeks and for some people even up to one and after two months, but definitely the sensation will come back. So no need to worry about it. Uh, don't uh, fear that, okay, the, the taste sensation will completely go on permanently. If it doesn't happen like that, definitely it will come back. What are some more minor problems? People can have some cognitive issues like uh, they can have trouble in decision making, and they can have some gastric issues and some vomiting or something like that. So these are the minor issues that can occur post COVID. But most of these minor issues are nothing to be worried about. There is no specific treatment needed for the symptoms which I stated before. Most will resolve spontaneously within some stipulated time. What are the major problems? The first thing is lung involvement. So we all know that around 20 percent of the people the COVID-19 infection causes interstitial pneumonia and blood clots, minor micro blood clots inside the lungs. So after resolving from the interstitial pneumonia, most of the people develop something called fibrosis of lungs. That is, if there is one wound on the skin, what will happen after one or two weeks? Scar develops on the hand. So in the same way, after the lung tissue is damaged, scarring occurs inside the lungs. But luckily, most of the scarring people what people say is they resolve back to the previous state after three to six months the lungs regenerate the tissues regenerate the tissues remodel so most of the scarring is not permanent unlike tuberculosis where if pulmonary fibrosis occurs the scarring occurs the scar is permanent the permanently the lung is damaged but luckily in covid 19 infection except in severe patients the scarring reverses to the old condition only in severe patients, the scarring becomes permanent and it gives lifelong breathing troubles and other issues. Are there any measures to improve the scarring? So proper treatment during the lung infection, that is the initial COVID treatment is mostly found to be useful in preventing the scarring. Also few other drugs like pyrifenidone, something like that have been suggested for preventing the scarring, but not many studies suggest the use of these drugs for preventing this scarring. Next most important thing is the risk of blood clots. It is very very peculiar for this COVID-19 infection unlike any other viral infection. After COVID-19 infection, any person has increased incidence or increased chance of developing blood clots inside the body. It can be a blood clot in heart, it is microthrombi, it can cause heart attack, it can cause stroke and it can cause blood clots in veins that is thromboembolism, venous thromboembolism, deep veins and pulmonary thromboembolism. So blood clots can occur in various organs causing various troubles and hence most of the people who have recovered after moderate to severe COVID after all this respiratory problem and lung involvement, 
most of the doctors advise anticoagulants that is blood thinners for at least one and to one and a half months after recovering from covid so it helps them preventing any late complications because in the last year in the first wave many doctors uh, reported that most of the covid recovered patients landed up in their hospital after one or two months with heart attack stroke and deep vein thrombosis pulmonary thrombosis to prevent that all patients who had moderate to severe disease have to be started and to be maintained on blood thinners for at least one to two months so all the above things which we have discussed before is for adults in children there is one peculiar condition called miss c that is multi system inflammatory syndrome in children in children we know that most of the children even though if they are getting covid 19 positivity they don't develop this moderate to severe disease that is covid 19 pneumonia it is very very rare but most of the children who develop asymptomatic or mild to covid 19 infection after 1 to 2 months they develop something called hyper inflammatory or immune reaction leading to something called multi system inflammatory syndrome in children that is called miss c so how it will present it can present as high fever more than 5 days duration uh, severe loose stools or gastrointestinal problems rashes all over the body heart function will become poor and uh, due to reduced uh, blood pumping mechanism urine output can be reduced and there can be even swelling of the entire body and there can be even rashes in the around the mouth and inside the mouth and there can be redness in the eyes so these are the symptoms if any child in current situation presents with these symptoms we have to suspect this miss c so any child could have developed that covid 19 infection just like that asymptomatically even covid 19 positive history will not be there but if these symptoms are there definitely one has to do covid antibodies to confirm this miss c and you can always confirm with other investigations like elevated cbc crp esr and other inflammatory markers and the pediatrician will diagnose and the miss c based on some other clinical profiles also why this miss c disease has to be diagnosed at the earliest because if you leave for around 7 to 10 days it can affect the heart pumping mechanism and can cause myocarditis and it can even affect the heart blood vessels that is coronary arteries and it can cause the coronary arteries to become dilated and aneurysm to develop so that's how the children will get long term complications of the miss c disease so you have to diagnose at the right time and give some drug called iv ig that is iv immunoglobulin or high dose pulse methylprednisolone or dexamethasone to prevent the miss c from developing to other complications hence we have to have a very good knowledge about the post covid complications and what can go wrong at the later stages after recovering from covid daily we are seeing new new complications black fungus white fungus yellow fungus and that complication this complication medical field is evolving this covid 19 is entirely a new disease for the entire medical community so that is why we are getting to know lots of things about the post covid complications day by day we should keep ourselves updated so after recovering from covid 19 infection if any person has any abnormal signs new onset fever any other new symptom please don't ignore it could be a complication of covid or post covid manifestation so please go to your doctor and get the symptoms checked and get some investigations done and get this assurance that okay it is not something any major or to be worried about we need not panic about this post covid symptoms but we have some basic idea definitely we can prevent ourselves landing up in trouble